Hello SO professionals and welcome back again to the next tutorial of this beginner to advanced level SEO course. So today I am going to tell you the important SEO elements that must be included within our SEO strategy in 2022. So before we get started make sure you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notified instantly for every new tutorial of this advanced level SEO course. Also, if you find this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well so as to support the tutorial and help others watch this tutorial on the platform. Alright guys, so let's get started with the elements that must be included within your SEO strategy in 2022. This strategy is going to be helpful for any kind of uh, SEO professional, whether they are beginner or advanced uh, level SEOs. So it's also helpful for any kind of the website owners, whether it's the e-commerce store owner, the service based website owner or a personal blog owner. So the first thing that must include within your SEO strategy is setting up your goals. Now, SEO is a long game, right? And it's not a one day job and or one time, one time task that you can do and finish it. But it's an ongoing process and you have to be consistent within your SEO. And if you really want to enjoy the organic traffic, right? So the first thing is that you have to set up your goals. Do you want to increase the organic traffic to your website? Do you want to increase the conversion rate? Or do you want to decrease the bounce rate on your website? Or do you want to increase or build more and more backlinks? Or whatever. But the key thing here is that your goals should be smart. By smart, I simply means that you have to set up specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound goals. So for example, you can set up a goal like I just want to increase the organic traffic by 20% or 40% within the next 6 or 12 months. So the point here is that your goals should not be fake and your goals should be measurable, realistic, attainable and time bound. So the next SEO element that should be included within your SEO strategy is the competitor analysis. Once you have decided on your goals, that you should have a great idea of your competitors. SEO is a very complex game and you cannot beat your competitors without actually knowing them or their SEO strategies. And that's where you can compete with them and that's where you can you know, defeat them within the organic search results. So for the competitor analysis, you can use uh, multiple SEO tools. There, some of them are free and some of them are uh, paid. So my favorite tools are the Obersuggest and the SEMrush. And these, both of these uh, tools also have the uh, Chrome extension as well. So you can simply uh, download the Obersuggest Chrome extension or the SEO Quick from SEMrush. And these two Chrome extension will be good for any kind of the competitor analysis. Now the key thing here to, uh, to keep in mind is that you should not just copy paste your competitors. By the competitor analysis, I simply mean that you should find out their SEO strategies what kind of the content do they create and why do they rank high for specific keywords? What are their backlink strategy? So once you have identified their strategy, you have to adopt the strategy, but you also have to do more than them. So for example, if one of your competitors have produced a blog post on 10 tips that can skyrocket the organic traffic to your uh, website. So what you do, what you have to do is that you should provide 20 or 15 SEO tips to skyrocket the organic traffic to your um, website. So for this specific keyword, that's how you can create better content than your competitors and that's where you can uh, beat them within the organic search results. Not only this, you have to build great and high quality backlinks to your content, to your home pages, to your product pages, or the pages you want to rank high. 
So the next one we have in the SEO strategy is you should do proper keyword research. So before doing keyword research, you should have sound knowledge of the keywords or the key phrases. So the keywords or the key phrases are basically those words that user type in the search engines to find out the answer products or services. So for example, I may type black t-shirt within Karachi. Apart from this, there are four more kinds of the keywords. There are the informational keywords, the navigational keywords, the transactional keywords, and the commercial keywords. Now, you have to be super wise using these kind of the keywords on your website. So for example, using informational keywords on your homepage might not be a good idea. While you can use the commercial or the transactional keywords on your home pages, on your product pages, while you can use the informational keywords within your blog posts. And that's where you can educate your uh, audience, your customer, and slowly uh, push them down to the panel. So the next one we have is the technical SEO, right? So technical SEO basically refers to the uh, loading time of your website, the indexability, crawlability of your website, fixing the 4A4 errors, and optimizing your website for mobile users. So when I say technical, you should not worry about this. This is basically the job of the developer. So you sim simply can find out the technical issues using any paid or free SEO tool, and then you simply direct your developer to fix those issues for you. So for example, if your website takes too much time to load, you can tell your developer to fix this loading time or remove unnecessary uh, code, right? And if you have the 404 errors, you simply redirect those pages to the pages that are uh, present on uh, your website at the moment. Also, you can tell your developer to create specific uh, pages for mobile. I mean, you should have AMP uh, pages for mobile users as well. As you can see, the mobile searches are increasing day by day. So the next one we have in the SEO strategy is building authority. By building authority, I mean building up the backlinks to your website. Remember, authority directly impacts the organic traffic of your website and the relevancy of your content, right? So what you have to do is to build high quality backlinks to your website, but you have to be natural yeah, and you should have a very natural backlink profile. I mean, your backlink should contain uh, both of the um, backlinks like the do follow and no follow backlinks but some of the things that you keep, uh, can keep in mind is that you should not um, get backlinks from um, law authority websites like law, law domain scores uh, spammy website and specifically from those websites who are linking to too much other websites right so you should not get backlinks from those kind of the uh, uh, website Rather, you should look at the organic traffic that website gets, the domain authority of that website, the spam score of that website, and most importantly, the relevancy of that website that is linking to your website. So you have to be extra careful when creating the uh, backlink strategy for your website. So you can do lots of things to build backlinks. So for example, you can do guest uh, posting, uh, you can do testimonials, you can answer the questions on social media sites like Quora.com and you can create shareable and worthy content that people love sharing on social media websites or uh, you know, uh, linking to your content on, from their own uh, websites. So the point here is that you should keep users in mind and search engines second in mind, right? I mean, you should not only optimize for search engines to get high ranking, rather you should first keep in mind the users. And if you succeed, uh, you know, uh, satisfying the users, then uh, it's my promise, Google or any kind of search engine will love your website and you're gonna skyrocket the organic traffic of your website. So the last but not the least thing that we have in the SEO strategy is that what kind of the KPIs you should be tracking within your SEO strategy. 
it's very important point right most of the SEO professionals or the beginners do not know what do they want to trade after the implementing of the SEO strategy so there are some things that you can trick so for example you can trick the organic traffic you can trick the ranking of your keywords you can trick the conversion rate of your website you can trick the um, lead number of leads on your website you can trick the bounce rate of your website or even you can trick the number of backlinks that uh, you build to your website so that's how uh, simple your SEO strategy should be and I promise this is going to be a, a very effective SEO strategy but the point here is that you have to be natural you have to keep in mind the users first and then you have to um, focus on the search engines right so I hope this has been a super super helpful tutorial once again be sure to subscribe the channel and hit that like button so as to support this channel and this tutorial and help others find this tutorial on the platform. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.